morning. Good morning. It's actually, oh no, it is the morning. Hi. Hi guys. How are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. Look at me. I look like Lydia from Beetlejuice with this hat on. When are the cinemas open again? Oh my God, when are the cinemas open? Oh, I hope you've been having a great week. Oh my God, things are changing. Things are crazy. Things are scary. Basically in England now, pubs, restaurants, shops, gyms, hairdressers, they're all open um, from yesterday. The pubs and restaurants you can eat outside, not inside yet. Just wanna say, if anyone's feeling overwhelmed, which I certainly was yesterday, there's no rush, okay? Please, please don't feel like you have to rush out and make all these plans. I know, like, who am I to tell you what to do? But, I don't know, I feel like there are a lot of people actually at the minute who are just like, I'm gonna ease back in when it's best for me. And I think that's the best thing you can do for yourself. Not rush into anything. Like, everything's still gonna be there. Just hoping everyone stays very cautious and careful and safe and just follows all the... the the um the guidelines i can't lie to you seeing people just like sitting out and like having a coffee and a catch-up does make my heart melt a bit and why shouldn't it it's so nice it's been a long year so today guys highly requested we have one week to do this i thought i'd get up at the crack starbucks i've probably got this wrong have released a new frappuccino bubble licious bubble gum hubba bubba once again i never do my research because i like to be <laughs> as I like to throw myself in. Am I going the right way? I'm going the wrong way. Oh my God, I'm going the wrong way. This is what happens when I don't pay attention. Oh man, I can't believe the sun as well. It was literally snowing yesterday, guys. Like I woke up to being in Narnia. I remember it was Mother's Day last year in March when the uh, prime minister was like, don't go see your family, stay, in, uh, stay at home. And I feel like me and the rest of the world had a massive breakdown because I couldn't go to my mum's to, for Mother's Day. And I was like, oh my God, this is absolutely, like, this is crazy. But since that day, I highlighted my whole year on Instagram. So you can literally go onto my profile and see everything I've done every single day since last year March. So yeah, I'm really happy I did that. I'm gonna stop on June 21st, like not obviously stopping stories, but I'm gonna stop highlighting them. Cause I feel like June 21st in England is when it's supposed to end. Okay, not my words. But yeah, if you ever wanna go see what I've been up to, if you're new to the channel, hello, I'm Mark, lovely to meet you. Literally got the best community online. If I say so myself, uh, what is that over my face? So yeah, we're gonna go try the Starbucks Bubblicious, uh, like bubble butt, <laughs> Starbucks Frappuccino. Like you guys love it and I love it. And you were like, oh my God, Mark, you've got to try it. You're like the king of trying stuff. And I was like, really? I'll take that. Yeah, tell me about yourself in the comments. How you doing? Like I said, best community online. Build each other up in the comments. Let's see how each other, let's see how each, let's see how each other are doing. Is there anything else for me to update you on? No, I had a very panicky day yesterday. I did. I'm not going to lie to you. I had a very panicky day. I felt overwhelmed, like I did, and I felt like this enormous sense of pressure, which I shouldn't do because no one is pressuring me to do anything. It's literally just in my brain that I'm seeing people online being like going to the pubs and stuff like that and obviously when we were allowed to go for a rule of six in the park me and my friends did that but i just think like like people going back to the gym i was like ah like please i don't want to see it but like it wasn't anything to do with them it was just like i don't think i'm ready i really want to go to the gym like i really want to join the gym because i love home weights i love home workouts it's amazing i can do it naked it's fine not naked but like i can do it like however i please and yeah, I just think like going to the gym, being around other people, like their energy and vibe of like working out may motivate me even more. The thing I just know for a fact that the gyms are gonna be so busy waiting to get on like an equipment thing will just kick in my anxiety and I will literally do two chest presses and be like, you know what, you can do it. Don't want that. But this is, this is my brain just farting out. Do you know what? This is my brain just farting out to you guys. Nothing too serious, you know? As I always say, I wanna wish anyone in other countries or like any other places in the world that if um, you're still in lockdown or like, I'm here for you. Like, I, I don't know how much I can do, but I just wanna send my love and just let you know that, oh, don't wanna say this, but things will get better. 
Um, it's a great quote, very overused, but it's so true. Things are gonna get better, the light is coming. Yeah, I'm always here for you. And I know people in the comments are always here for you. Oh my God, imagine if we had like one massive group chat on WhatsApp, that would be insane. My phone would probably like blow up, but oh my God, in hindsight, maybe one day, maybe I should create an app for like, content creators and viewers and we can have our own little group chats we can just chat about stuff how nice would that be oh my god i'd be on it all the time i've sort of like experimented with my hair again like it's all sort of like i don't know if you follow me on instagram oh my god i keep saying that but you I, i'm there every day um so my hair's like sort of not like swoopy old sort of fringe mark but it's still like a fringe but it's more like curly and wavy and like short the sides and like you guys seem to be digging it. I feel a little bit more confident wearing it like that. Like we loved the, like the side parting or whatever that Prince thing was that I was doing. Really love that. But like guys, if you followed my my YouTube life for a while, you know I've only had like one hairstyle in my entire life. Now I'm experimenting with two, two in one year. Like am I okay? That man in the BMW next to me clearly isn't. Oh my God. It's always this roundabout. I look back at the footage and I realize that every single time I'm on this roundabout, someone tries to kill me. Like, how are you with hairstyles? Like, have do you like change it up? Like, I know people who change their hair up like every week in like different colors and cuts and extensions, which is amazing. But I just feel like I've got a very bland face. So, <laughs> like there's only certain styles that would suit me. Sometimes I have nightmares of going to friends' houses and they shave my heads, but I'm not even friends with those people. Like, if you're one of those people that you have your friends around and they fall asleep and you shave their eyebrows off or their hair, oh my God. Please don't do that. Just thinking about it makes me like, want to vomit. Oof, please. <laughs> for so many people, their hair is their identity. Like for so long, because I've got a massive forehead, I feel like I've got a massive forehead. That like I used to try and change it. That like I used to have my hair to hide my massive forehead. Like my eight head. I've just got a big forehead. And I always wanted to, always wanted to hide it. And then I embraced it with like the curtains thing. And I was like, do you know what? My forehead's fine. You just do you. You do you. And everyone else can sit by and watch you living your best life. <laughs> I know I said on my Instagram that I've gotten rid of all the dating apps. I'm not on them anymore. I don't need it. I don't want it. But now I'm thinking, now the world's opening. Do I want to start dating? Where am I going to date? I see so many people on Instagram, um, on TikTok going on little, this hat is so tight, ow. Um, going on little like socially distant picnic dates, which is completely and utterly the most, oh, the cutest thing ever. I just know for a fact if I had a picnic date, I would be attacked by seagulls, birds, wasps, birds shit, and ants. I also know that the wind wouldn't be in favor of me, the changing light. I don't know, just sitting on the ground, I'd probably get the cramp. This in, these are the things I think about. Like I love like a casual pub or like a restaurant or you know, like a nightclub, <laughs> but they're not open yet. Everything's outside at the minute, which is amazing. But but do I, do I go on an outside date in a pub? Do you guys do that? Is anyone socially distancing outdoor dating? Do I go to a date outside in a pub? Yeah, I could. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Maybe it's time for me to get back on the dating apps. I feel like I could, why not? It's just the small talk, innit? But which the past year was like, oh my God, I can chat to people and then I just get ghosted because you can't really meet up with them. But now things may have changed. Maybe people want to meet up with me. Who knows? Okay, maybe let's do it. Are you allowed to do that? Like, are you allowed to meet up with someone you haven't met on a socially distanced date? Who knows? Boris, let me know. Boris, let me know if I can go on a socially distanced date outside in, in a pub. Am I allowed? <laughs> Who knows? I really want to go camping. Like, I want to go camping. Like, I know some of my friends, if they're watching this. Hello, love you. Can't wait to see you Saturday. Um, They'll be like, Maha, you absolute two-faced fudging liar. You don't want to go camping. We've spoken about this. Guys, I've had a change of heart. I want to go camping. Would I share a tent with you? Would you want to share a tent with me? No. No, you wouldn't. Not with my long legs, taking up all the space, listening to my rain music. Uh, <laughs> my portable humidifier, you know. Do 
live while we're young. Right, we're turning into Starbucks now. Here we go. Oh, shit. Oh, jeez. The brand new Starbucks Bubble Tastic Frappuccino blended beverage is available now for one week only. An icy cold blend of bubblegum flavor and whipped cream topped with the popping candy for an added taste sensation. Oh my god, they got it! The bubble. New Bubble Tastic Frappuccino. Uh. Hello, I'm from Starbucks. What can I get for you? Hi there, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Yeah, good, thanks. Um, Could I please get the new Bubble Tastic Frappuccino, please? I'm really sorry, we have sold out of that one already. Oh. No, it's very popular. Oh, okay. Um, we've got other ones. We've got cookies and cream frap, caramel frap, vanilla frap. Oh, okay. Frap. Could I just uh, could I just get a chicken av and avocado wrap, please? Yeah. Perfect. Is that everything? Yeah, that's perfect. Thank, Thank you. you I'm going to be sick. They don't have it. They've sold it out. Oh, no. <sighs> Hiya. Do you have anything else? Uh, no, it's just that, thank you. Do you know when you're going to get the bubble tastic thing back? Um, we don't, unfortunately. It could be on that delivery, you never know. But, oh, okay. Um, we only have it for a week anyway. Like, Starbucks only have it for a week. Okay. We don't know, Alright, no worries. They've just got a delivery. Literally just got a delivery. It could be that. It could be the bubble butt fantastic drink of my life. I can't wait here, can I? Like a little lemon. Gorgeous. Google Maps, Starbucks, closest. Oh my god, there's a Starbucks drive through 30 feet away. Oh, I'm fucking out, it's that one. Sorry guys, we'll get it, don't you worry. You know me, we never give up, we fight for our dreams, we fight for ourselves. We fight for the content. Oh my god, that wrap was beautiful though. That wrap was really nice. The chicken and spinach. Or chicken and hummus, avocado. No freaking way did I just manage to get a parking spot outside of the Starbucks on Cobben Hyde. Cobben. Cobben. Hyde. Oh my god, I can't speak. I'm just so excited. If they don't have it in here, someone's gonna cry and that person's gonna be me. Mask on. Mask on, Huns out. Right, let's turn my whole entire life off. <clears throat> Sold out. I'll go back home and see if they if that Starbucks has it. If it doesn't, we're gonna have to do it. We're gonna have to try and do it at the crack of the dawn. Crack of the dawn? Crack of the morning. <laughs> oi, oi! He only bloody found it. He only bound and found it. We're just gonna go in a little nook, as we always like to do. I'm excited, I can't believe I found it. There's a Starbucks literally right next to this. Um, Sainsbury's, um, it's 10 minutes away from my house. Oh, here she is. <laughs> oh my God, look at this. There's like a bloody, what's it called? Also, I think this is a permanent mess on my... Oh, that's better. Oops, sorry about that. Oh my god! Call the papers! Oh my god. <gasps> Popping candy. Can't smell it. Oh my god, it's leaking. Oh my god. I can't believe I just spilled milk all over my new car. Oh no. <laughs> Do you remember the last time I spilled milk in my car? It smelled for years. I've got to make sure it's all gone. Oh. Uh. Holy crap. This tastes. Do you know what? I was really worried that this was going to be really sickly. One week only, you've got... You've literally got four days left to get your hands on this. Oh my God. The popping candy. 
Oh yeah. This is possibly one of my favourite Starbucks drinks they've ever done. I think I need to be on the like the mailing list for Starbucks. But this is oh my god. This tastes like those old seaside sort of um, ice creams that have like the bubble gum in it and a little like little 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 ball at the bottom. I don't know what they're called, but they this tastes like this. I thought it was going to be really sickly. This is honestly so lovely. Was it worth the journey? Oh yes, it was. Look at that colour. I absolutely love this, guys. Look at the colour. Wow. Why is it only one week? They've got to bring this back, guys. You've got to get moving. And then obviously the popping candy. What an invention. This has got to be my favourite drink Starbucks has ever done, like a limited edition of. It tastes like nostalgia. It tastes like playing out on the street and like the pavement being really hot because I'm running around barefoot and having water fights with my friends and the ice cream man comes around. It's like the best day ever. And I go home and I watch Xena Warrior Princess and fall asleep. What else can I say? The popping candy. That's disgusting, sorry. This was definitely the, this was definitely worth it. This is actually a really nice car park as well. Is that the view? Oh my god, I can see my flat! If you enjoyed this video, please give it... Oh. <laughs> god, brain freeze. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a... Oh my god, ow. Jesus. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed it. I love you so much. Um, I will see you next week. Um, take care. Look after yourself. Stay safe. Stay safe. Um, yeah. I love you.